supply chain disruptions keep happening in different parts of the world. Although some companies can react to changes faster and have fewer issues that impact their supply chain performance. But how? The focus of companies is on the supply chains that deliver the goods and react to changes in the world. Do you know how your supply chain performs? What are the performance gaps that need improvement? Does your company work sustainable? These are tough questions to answer even for people with thorough knowledge of a company. How do you measure the company's performance? How does your performance compare to other companies and industries and by what standards? The SCORE DS model is a tool set to analyze any supply chain and design solutions to solve the issues that are present and improve overall performance. The result? Companies using SCORE DS strive towards supply chain excellence. The basic idea of SCORE is that you define your supply chain into industry neutral standardized processes. Then you use those processes to measure performance using the attached metrics. These metrics will show how the processes are performing. To improve the performance we use best practices. These are a way to gain insight into improving process performance. I will explain the comprehensiveness of the SCORDS model starting with the SCORE graphic. The SCORDS graphic is a double infinity diagram representing today's looped continuous and connected supply chains. This diagram shows the connection between the seven main processes and groupings for supply chain processes. The horizontal infinity loop illustrates the balance to achieve between demand and supply. Demand on the left drives the supply of goods on the right. At the center of each supply chain is orchestrate. It represents all coordination processes that enable a supply chain to work effectively and align with company strategies, business rules, human resources and technology. Regenerate and synchronize are linked through the vertical infinity loop. Regenerate is vital because today's supply chains do more than move products. The modern supply chain focuses on returns, revisions and after-sales services. Synchronize helps by constantly matching the flow of goods between demand and supply. Because Regenerate and Synchronize have to do with both the demand and the supply side, they are both blue and green. Plan at the top is about planning demand and supply based on forecasts and available capacity. Planning needs to be done for all the other processes. Order is about the processes related to receiving and processing customer orders. Source describes all processes related to the sourcing of raw materials, components or services which are needed to fulfill the order. Transform is the part where companies create products and or services. Source and transform represent the supply side of the horizontal infinity loop. Now let's return to the demand side. Fulfill is about the demand side flow of goods. Once the order has been processed, the material sourced or services delivered, products or services created by the transform processes, we are ready to deliver the products from the customer order. This completes the demand side of the horizontal infinity loop. But we still have one space left. Return is at the bottom of the vertical infinity loop on the regenerate side. Return can be critical for achieving the strategic sustainability goals of the company. Return is a two-way street like plan. It affects both demand and supply. The return processes describe the activities associated with the reverse flow of goods, services or any service components from a customer. SCORE does not attempt to describe every business process or activity. More specific, SCORE does not address sales and marketing, including demand generation and research and development. The focus is on the supply chain and supply chain performance. Industry new to performance and processes are described in three levels. This can be expanded by company specific detailed processes like working instructions, which will be level 4, 5, 6 or onward. In the beginning of this video I told that one of the goals of SCORE is to measure business performance. To measure performance you will need to know what to measure and how the performance metrics are split into the following groups. Reliability, Responsiveness, Agility, Cost, Profit, Assets, Environmental and Social. 
The metric structure has three levels. For example, on the first level of responsiveness, you will find customer order fulfillment cycle time. SCORE provides a definition for each metric on all the levels. All the level 1 metrics are benchmarkable, which means that for ASCM corporate members, it is possible to compare their performance to other companies. On level 2 of responsiveness, you will find 5 metrics that serve as building blocks for the level 1 metric. Level 3 metrics are diagnostics for each of the level 2 metrics. This performance level is related to activities and they help to identify root causes for performance gaps. To find ways to improve specific processes, you need examples of things other companies found beneficial for that specific task. These examples are called practices. There are approximately 300 of these practices within the SCORE model already. When a company has a performance issue on slow order fulfillment, the data shows that they are underperforming and the team is looking for ways to perform better. When you take a look at customer order fulfillment cycle time, you will find an explanation of the term. There are 36 practices that have proven to improve the performance of customer order fulfillment cycle time. Some of these the company may already use, while some others are out of reach for the project. When the practices are reviewed, they are scored how effective they could be to resolve the issue at hand and the difficulty to implement. This scoring is then done for other points of interest as well and the data is aggregated to see what projects yield the biggest return compared to their investment. People have an important role within companies they work for. The experience they have is one of the main contributors for success or failure within a process. During the people assessment, you analyze the performance of people within a given process. Does everyone have enough knowledge to complete their task? Could education help them? Is there enough experience? During a score project, a team will start with a high level performance gap assessment. This can be identified by benchmarking or other information. For the identified gaps, priorities are established and processes are described and analyzed. After that, Relevant best practices are analyzed for their contribution to the targeted performance approval. When this is done, improvement projects are defined and tested for their impact versus improvement. The last step is implementing the improvement into the processes and analyzing the results. New in SCORDIAS is the focus on sustainability. Currently, the Global Reporting Initiative GRI, metrics are built into SCORE. These sustainability metrics can be found under environmental and social. These metrics do also connect to sustainable best practices and are benchmarkable. Access to the SCORE model is free for everyone with an ASCM account. No membership needed. To access, you go to score.ascm.org. In short, the Supply Chain Operations Reference, known as SCORE, model is developed to standardize processes and performance metrics to improve supply chain performance. These metrics can be used to find areas for improvement. These improvements can then be made using best practices. The SCORE model also includes a standard approach called the racetrack to keep improving any supply chain. Businesses can use the SCORE model to assess the supply chain maturity in alignment of their business goals. When you want to get started using SCORE, we from Visi Partners offer two-day SCORE workshops in Amsterdam, or we can deliver them at your company. We can also assist in the various steps needed to improve using SCORE. We can also get you in contact with people in your region that can help. If you need more information or want to contact us, please go to visipartners.nl.